Okay. Yes, because precautions are how you avoid situations you don't want. If I don't want to risk getting an STD, what does this have to do with STDs? We're talking about abortion here, you fucking asshole. I can mitigate that by risking how now by not sleeping with willy nilly. What does Rin? What does sleeping around have to do with anything? <clears throat> and you're talking about condoms, but then you're talking, or yeah, but then you're talking about sleeping around. This wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't for precautions. Of course, um, it's usually the men who are expected to use the condom. Uh, women do have preca or the uh, contraceptives, but uh, I don't know how uh, reliable or effective they are. But uh, if a man doesn't use the condom, that's not the woman's fault. And that's a big problem. If the contraceptives for women, like birth control pills, don't work or they fail well what the fuck not to mention that accidents and mistakes do happen but you're talking about we're not talking about STDs you're taking this all over the place first you bring up theft and now you're bringing up STDs and aside from that you're also very arrogant so and you say you say back there that uh, you're pro-abortion which would be bullshit because that's what they that's what the pro-life movement um, disingenuously calls pro abort uh, pro yeah pro choice because they're fuck nuts and uh, so I, I I say you're not I say you're actually pro-life you're just a bad actor you're just uh, trolling undercover I guess I don't know. So that's the, those are the problems with this. It's called taking control and being responsible. I would agree, but a we're not talking about STDs, and we're not we're also not talking about sleeping around. The reality is that uh, men often don't use precautions, to which the pro-life movement doesn't care. You get pregnant, lady, you will go through with it, and you will give birth. That's the pro-life mentality, which you're uh, even as a pro well, supposed pro-choice person you're arguing with me against for some reason. You know, you're pro-abortion, but you're arguing with me about preca taking precautions and uh, whatever else, not sleeping around. Yeah, I think you're pro-life, asshole. But anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. So go all the way, all the way back. Yeah, not much here, but wow, there's a lot of replies that aren't showing. Okay, so from Anna, because she's a psycho. Abortion is when a baby come gets the death penalty for the behavior of someone else. So she's trying to make it. Abortion is no. Well, I'm not even going to go into that. That's completely separate from what this what this is about. Uh, that's my reply to her, so you jump in. I'm pro-abortion. Sure you are. Well, pro-abortion, again, is pro-life bullshit straw man against pro-choice, which is a red flag on your part. But this is a bad argument. People can control sexual urges, says you. I asked you how you can. You, all you said was discipline and, and that it's just that, an urge. So you didn't answer my question. You, you've evaded me twice on that. But of course, you're not considering the circumstances for other people. Maybe, maybe it's mental health. I don't know. Maybe it's physical health. Maybe other people have issues. And I can tell you for, uh, well, I can't prove this, but I have an overactive sex drive. And the urge is hit strong. It's very distracting. Now, obviously, people have to work for a living, and they can't control... No, they can't control that urge. Maybe the urge is responsible for a lot of fuck-ups in any given workplace. Who knows? But you are, you're able to. You have discipline, and you are raised to control it. So, therefore, everyone else should also be able to, just because you can. It's a positive projection on your part. 
while a negative projection is people who uh, accuse others of their own faults and um, whatever. Uh, okay, so click on that. So you can control, yeah. So the ladies are to suffer the penalty, yeah. So I brought, I brought, I mentioned this because Anna said it. It's a question, yeah. I'm just asking you what I asked Anna because she won't. She's too chicken shit to fucking reply. While you are just trolling. So you can control when the urge comes. So the ladies are to suffer the penalty of pregnancy slash pain of giving birth because the guys refuse to take those precautions. No going to places. <laughs> that is the silliest fucking. No going to places where horny people. So you admit that the people can be overwhelmingly horny. Or are you just saying that uh, where people don't control their urge you're just arrogant yes I can control my urges I was raised to do so I was taught self-discipline don't go into details about that though just say it's just that an urge Fuck. sounds like you weren't no I'll admit that I wasn't I don't even know if that's possible of course you won't explain to me how it is that's all there is to it if you can't control an urge, then you lack impulse control. You know nothing about me or anyone else, Lee. That's like making excuses for now. A bad comparison, as I mentioned here. Uh, that's like making excuses for thieves because, yeah. One, sex isn't criminal because it's, unless it's rape. And two, nobody's making excuses for thieves. So that's a straw man on your part. The urge is to have sex is just that, an urge. Well, if it's only an urge, well then, well, maybe it occurs in, on different levels for other people, huh? Maybe it doesn't occur so strongly in you. Hmm? You ever consider that? The urge to steal something is also an urge. The urge to steal, the urge to steal is psychosis. The urge to have sex is just natural, and well, well, pro-life makes sex to be makes sex out to be a criminal act, as uh, Anna said back here. Where was it? A uh, behavior of someone else. What behavior? Sex. She's saying that abortion. She's trying to. She's using the typical straw man that abortion is a death penalty for children when women don't do it to penalize the baby. They do it to, uh, for whatever reason, maybe they were raped, who knows. Maybe they have a bad financial situation and the guy didn't use a contraceptive or take the precaution. They couldn't control their urge. Asshole. Uh, where was I? Okay, so what what do you mean you were raised to do that? How does discipline stop the urge? Uh, so you don't answer those questions. You just go ahead and preach. Just because you have an urge for something doesn't mean you can't have... Well, I don't have the urge to steal. Okay, the urge is, is the urge to have sex criminal? Because that's what you're comparing it to. That's what you said here. It's called a comparison to make a point. Okay, well, doesn't somebody who have the who has the urge to steal a um, a psychotic? We're talking about a criminal intent here. That's what you're trying to say. Sex is. So how is that a valid point? If you want to. Oh, Having the urge to hurt somebody, either physically or financially, uh, is that healthy? Is that mentally healthy? The urge to have sex is mentally unhealthy? Hmm? And Anna being Christian, being that uh, my reply is rooted in her, to her 
bullshit post. Uh, God made us this way. So, God made us... Oh, fuck. Why did God design us with an, un with an urge that happens on its own? Can you prevent the urge from happening? Because I certainly fucking can't. Oh, sorry. I'm disappointed. I wasn't raised to do that. Sorry. My bad. I didn't claim sex with criminal. I didn't say you did. I said, you're the one who tried to use it as a comparison. And can theft be uh, innocent or honest? Well, I'm stealing something back. No, that's not theft. No, I can't think of any instance where theft is non-criminal. Theft is criminal. No, it's a fallacious and erroneous comparison. Sex is fun and pleasurable and only bothers weirdos like you. Theft victimizes. You clearly aren't reading... No, no, no. You're the one taking this all over the place here. You're the one who brought STDs into it. You're the one who brought... Uh, sleeping around into it while you're trying to argue precautions and self-control of the urge. Okay, now what's next? Um, Anna is Christian and many Christians are anti-condom sex ed, masturbation, etc. So how is uh, STDs and sleeping around relevant to the topic of self-control. So maybe just use condoms if they're sleeping around and avoiding STDs. What does self-control have to do with that? Hmm? You brought precautions up, jackass. Yes, because precautions are how to avoid situations you don't want. So mistakes and accidents never happen? And pro-life is trying to come down on women, not men. Men are expected to use the condoms. I don't know much about women's contraceptives like uh, BC pills and uh, whatever else other shit that can be. But a woman can't control if a man doesn't use a condom. So, and that's usually how shit happens. So... Pro-life says, even if a man doesn't use a condom, the woman is obligated to carry through the fucking pregnancy and the, everything I mentioned, labor pains and everything else. They're obligated to, to the 18-year sentence of motherhood. If Even if a guy doesn't use the condom, it's all the woman's fault. That's the pro-life's uh, perception or... Uh, when you, well, yeah, perception of uh, pregnancy. Okay, is there anything else? Now I'll leave it at that. I've already hit you with a shovel enough times here.